When it's time to buy your next house, don't focus your efforts on finding the best house. Focus on finding the right house. I'm Bill Joyce, and I teach people how to buy the right house to create their dream home. If you're thinking about buying a house or know someone who is, and you want to buy the right house, this will be worth your time. If you're not even thinking about moving, click Skip Ad in the lower right corner and you can get onto your video. Because this is an ad for my free email course, How to Buy the Right House. People approach buying a house the way they approach buying anything else. Take, for example, a car. When people buy a car, they, they will come, commonly come up with a budget, uh, a rough budget at least, and, and then go out and start comparing cars and find the best one, the one they like the best, for the money. That's exactly how most people approach buying a house. They'll go to the bank, find out what they can afford, and then go find the best one for the money. Unfortunately, because of the scale of this purchase and the impact a, a house is going to have on your life, that's an inadequate way to evaluate uh, the purchase of a house. There's more to it. That's the way to find the best house. The right house, on the other hand, is a, is a blend. It's a balance between a house that you like, that you find pleasing, and the use of your limited, precious resources, and that is money and time. And because these are limited resources, they are required for the other things that you want to do in life. So if you spend them on a house, you are not able to spend them on something else. So spending more on a house, because the bank says that you can. So let's say, for example, that you borrow all the bank says that you can afford, and then you find yourselves living paycheck to paycheck for many years. While that may have been the best house, that isn't necessarily a pleasant way of living, especially if you weren't expecting that kind of financial strain. So while that might have been the best house, that certainly wasn't the right house. So let's say you decide to buy a home a little bit further from work. You've got a longer commute now. That means more time in traffic. But it also means less time doing things that you like. In fact, prime times, uh, good morning hours and good afternoon hours uh, uh, of very usable time are now taken away from the life that you have. That may be okay, but you want to be making that decision knowing that impact. For example, if you move 10 minutes further from work, that's 80 hours a year less of other things during prime time that you get to do. What could you do with that 80 hours? There is definitely a difference between the best house and the right house. Think about what you could do in your life with that time and money. And is this the absolute best use of it? It may well be. And if it is, the best house is the right house. If it isn't, if there are things that you value more, time with, with family or doing anything that you want, or more money for savings, investing, retirement, vacations, money allows you to do a lot of really fun things. The point in a home purchase is to find the right house that gives you a place you enjoy but the time and money to live the life you want to live. I've been a real estate broker in Sacramento for many years and have worked with literally thousands of clients buying houses. I've even owned a half a dozen of my own. It took a lot of years of helping clients buy houses, a complete meltdown of the housing market, a short sale of my own what I thought was dream home, and the end of a 22-year marriage to learn what I'm about to teach you. Beautiful houses don't necessarily make happy homes. Even more importantly, they quite often are the root cause of unhappy homes. Ever argue with your partner about money? If you spend too much on that pretty house, you can expect money tensions to skyrocket. I don't care what the bank says you can afford. They're not responsible for your marriage. Or what if you move another 15 minutes further from work to get more house for your money? Because that adds up to an extra 125 hours a year in traffic. That's the equivalent of three full work weeks more in the car. What are you going to be forced to sacrifice to get that 125 hours? If you feel like you don't have enough time now, wait until that new house excitement wears off and see how you feel about your commute then. A lot of people think about the extra time in the car as the downside of a commute, but the real loss is in the time you've given up doing more meaningful things. Maybe the extra space in the house is not a good trade for the extra time with your spouse or children on hikes or at the gym. Commute times are at prime time for doing better things. I'm creating an online course called How to Buy the Right House, where I teach how home choice will affect your life and how to choose the right house for the life you want to live. If you're in search for the nicest house, you're getting it wrong. This course isn't about choosing the nicest house, which is how most people buy houses. My course is about how home choice is going to affect your marriage, your family, health, 
finances, saving, and retirement, essentially your ability to create a happy home and live a satisfying life. For now, while I'm still completing the course, I'm giving it away for free to get feedback and learn the questions I should expect. When it's complete, I intend to sell it for $297. Click the little link in the lower left corner of this video. It says, visit charterhome.com, and it will take you to the sign-up page. I just need a name and an email address. That's pretty low risk for something that will help you avoid a disastrous mistake, buy the right house, and live your best life. And as insurance, you can unsubscribe at any time. This is the education you never got on the most valuable thing you'll ever own. While the best house may make your friends green with envy, the right house will make your life better, happier, and more fulfilling. I also have a lot of great videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe, and if you have questions or comments, let's get the conversation started in the comments below. And sharing is also very thoughtful. If you know someone buying a house, you can email a link to this video right here from YouTube. So click the visitcharterhome.com link in the lower left corner now before the video ends and it disappears.